What's up, YouTube? Back with another gameplay, and this one was actually from my tribute stream that was in Washington, D.C. on September 1st. I did that to try to benefit, raise some money, obviously, for uh, True Boy and Spot Me. Was playing Weekend League, was just in there chilling all day. I was actually joined by my guy, 12 Bullet. He's a Madden player that, you know, joins all the little events that I throw in D.C. and Philly and New York and everywhere on the East Coast. Just a guy that loves Madden. He came out of support, so I had him up there with me playing some Weekend League games, talking about Madden and everything like that. So that's who's on the stage with me. As you can see by now, I'm playing my guy, Scheming, who is another pro, another Madden player that, you know, you, sometimes I talk about know your player you're playing against. And this is a great example. You know, I know Scheming always is a little bit different. He always has a little bit different scheme. Like, he's not necessarily going to be the guy that just runs bunch and DB fire or just runs what everybody else does. You know, he's going to have a cute little offense. And he's going to have a cute little blitz. He always has something that, that you know, I got to, as a challenge for me to um, go ahead and play again. So, I'm glad to play this. the first time I played him all year. Played him a lot. I played him a lot in the past. You know, he's, he's a good challenge, a good defensive player. And he's a guy that wants to run the ball. You know, so he, when you go into the game, automatically you're thinking, I want to stop the run, and then I'll be all right. Get him in passing situations, and I'll be okay. Obviously, I expect him to come out in some type of, type of two tight end set, but if you come out in three wide, it looks like doubles Green Bay is what I take, and he's all the one around. So, like I said, I've never played him. This is my first time this year. I hadn't seen him play. So, this first drive is everything a little bit, you know, I haven't seen it yet. And right there, he runs a power while I was trying to play inside zone. Once again, he runs power. So I got to take notes when he audibles and puts his running back on the right, then he goes to a power. If his running back's on the left, it's going to be inside zone. And you see the first drive, he's kind of killing me with the run. You know, they talk about Dollar being able to stop the run. And not if you don't know what you're doing. And not if you're not prepared to stop, stop the certain type of runs that your opponent's going to run. You know, and, and I got to learn that the first drive of a person. I feel like it's always the easiest to score on your first drive because your opponent doesn't know what you're going to do. You know, once they start getting a habit of your routes and your plays that you want to go to, it's a little easier to defend. But right now he's doing a good job mixing it up. Gets to a fourth and three. I've, I've talked about this before in many videos. I like to sneak in a little man coverage when you get to a fourth and short. Hopefully stop a drag. Hopefully stop you know, anything short. And here you go. I just had the running back on assignment. He's been blocking the running back. I hope he blocks him here so I don't have to guard him and I can go lurk. I want to keep my spy so he can't get an easy scramble. What he does here, he blocks the tight end. I have to guard the running back, and that leaves this route open. Good play by him. I wish the guy that was manned up on the tight end went to the running back rather than the outside wide receiver, but I had to guard the running back. Good mix-up by him. It was second and 15. I put my middle linebacker in a mid-read, and I give up a seam touchdown. That's, that's really tough. Uh, I, he wasn't a vert hook. I switched him to a mid-read. Because I was in between that play, in between the deep blue, yellow zone, deep blue, yellow zone. And last second, I went and put him in the mid-read, and I give up a seam. That's probably the last play of this game where I didn't have a deep blue in the middle. I didn't want to give up anything easy. I want to make somebody beat me up and down the field. That's, I've talked about that a million times. So I give up 7 nothing to a good player, but that's okay. Because I get the ball to half. I have plenty of time. We hit my man Todd Gurley in the flat. We have Todd Gurley at tight end. If you want to know how to do that, you can purchase the Saints ebook. It's at manturf.com. The links are below. So make sure you do that. We go see. That's why you put Todd Gurley at tight end. Instead of having, you know, Gronk or Eifert out there, you can go ahead and hit him on, on a drag and just spin the life away. Here we go back across the middle. Tyreek Hill. Speed kills him, man. Get a first thing going to six. Try to hit a little baby dot here. Chuck it up to Vernon Davis. Vernon Davis can't come down with it. Because I use Gurley at tight end. My, my regular tight end isn't that great, but Le'Veon Bell fighting in there. Gets taken down. Get to a third and goal. Try to squeeze this little baby curl in, but it's swatted away right there by, I believe, Ramsey. So I got to take three. I give up an easy seven on the seam, and I got to take three. This drive will dictate the rest of the game pretty much. If I can hold him to no points, I get ball, I'll be fine. Somehow I make a stop and get the ball back. It'll change the game. Just need to come up. This is the most important drive of the game, and here we go. See, I'm starting to learn as we're on this side zone. I go to blow it up there. Here's another. Here's I almost get getting that hole in power. You know, in power, I want to try to shoot the gap where the guard pulls, and I almost got it right there. I'm starting to get better against the run now because I'm getting used to him and know where I got to play with my linebacker. Here we go. One of the best plays I made all day. Whew. Baby lurk. Act like I was going back and cover. Swam back down on the running back. Brian Dawkins. That's the brand new Brian Dawkins. I think I actually got him coming up to about 91 speed. I don't think anybody else is doing that in this game. A little bait like I was going back upfield. I saw the running back from the start of the play come back down, actually able to get the lurk. Brian Dawkins, best safety of all time, hop up, 
take it to the end zone. That's a touchdown. It looks a little weird, Brian Dawkins. In the Titans uniforms, obviously I'm rocking the Titan uniforms for my man Spot. I mean, rest in peace. So he's not in the Eagles uniform right now, but he's still making plays. That's Brian Dawkins. Great play. Just changed the game. From, you know, from being down seven to three, possibly ten to three or fourteen to three. Now I'm up with the ball at half. Just, it's just a devastating play for him. And now even more so, he has to get points right now because he knows in a minute and fifteen seconds he's going to kick the ball back off to me. He's over. Oh, bang! There he goes. He hits that corner route over there. Good play, John Ross. See, boom! There we go. See, I'm starting to get a hang of stopping the runs he wants to go to. It took me one drive, but I'm really starting to get these these reads down on defending the run. Here we go Cam Chancellor killing somebody. That's what he does. And another great lurk right here by me, able to knock the ball up. Sean Taylor tip drill chemistry, able to catch it. Hurl one person, juke back over the middle, but I don't know who this is that eventually grabs me. Twenty six, maybe Tevin Coleman. Let's say he didn't run this play all game, but obviously you see you guard that, but you see the tight end wheel. Bunch verticals, I believe it was, obviously, but you know, can't let anybody throw the wheel route to the tight end. I play real conservative here. I had three timeouts, nine seconds. I'm cool with getting another three. I know I'm playing a player. I need to get points on the board because you know he's gonna be in this game all day. The more points I have in the first half, the better off I am in the second half. Played it real conservative there. 13 to 7 when I was down 7 to 3. Big turn in the last two minutes of that first half. I got it. I capitalized on a lot of things. You know, I made him turn the ball over twice. That's exactly what I want. Starting to stop the run a lot better. That That's ideally what my goal is when playing a scheme and or playing a run first player, man. You stop the run, make them pass. You feel a lot, a lot more comfortable. I'm going to hit Moss, crossing right over the middle. <sighs> Gets grabbed right there. I think by Miles Jack, it looks like 44. I promise I can't run the ball. Every time I run draw, it's kind of blown up. But here he goes. He starts mixing a little more DB fire, getting a little more conventional. He came out in that 4-3 kind of loop blitz the first drive. and went down the field pretty easy. Here he goes. He starts mixing a little DB fire. That's okay. I'm getting comfortable, more and more comfortable playing against the contained blitz and DB fire a lot more lately. Here I go hit Moss. I know that I'm up three. A field goal puts me up two scores, so I'm perfectly fine with kicking a field goal here. But whew, Le'Veon Bell gets a little spin cycle action right there. That's the diamond powered up Le'Veon Bell, an absolute dog. I believe 93 spin, spin actually just whew, killed that safety there. And I kicked my extra point. They wanted me to go for two. I don't chase points. I pretty much don't ever go for two unless I absolutely have to. Just keep piling up points. Here we go. I'm blowing up that base. I'm getting used to it. I know he goes to base when he motions running back on the right side of the quarterback. Here he goes. Try to hit a fly out there. You know, Cam Chancellor and Pat Peter over there. And they're not playing any games. Dumps it off underneath. Brian Dawkins hits stick. Tevin Coleman sit down, sir. Get him to a fourth and seven. I didn't blitz off the left side. He was able to roll out. I have just enough time to wait for Randy Moss to come back and catch the ball. Jeez. So you try to get cute, drop a couple people in coverage, but he was able to roll out right there. I need DeMarcus Ware to fight a little bit more for me. You know, but, that, you know, like I said, I just want to get to the fourth quarter right now. I'm up 13 points. If I can get to the fourth quarter without him with points, and he gets an overthrow on some goofy, I don't know what route that was, like a stop and go or something, overdo it. Malcolm Jenkins is, like I said in previous videos, he's the best DB I play with all year. Here I know one play gets me to the fourth quarter. I'm perfectly fine just taking some time off the clock. I try a little toss. But like I said, running doesn't work for me. They don't allow good players to be able to run the ball effectively. Again, I got greedy there. I tried to wait for Moss to back across, but you know, Clowney killed my guard right there. Step up. He's still running a little DB fire underneath. Able to hit Moss. Run some clock. I'm going to punt the ball here. You know, I feel really good about my defense. I went in that first drive, getting up the seam. I've stopped the run. And obviously, all three phases, fellas. It's not always about the dots, the e-books, everything. Learn how to punt. You know, it doesn't take long. Go to practice mode. Learn how to make punts like that. It's just a huge play. Once again, Malcolm Jenkins, you cannot throw to his side of the football field. He's a stud. Second and ten, and we're screaming a little bit. That's Boye. I'm the only person in the world that has AJ Boye on her team, and I blitz him. It's just not, not a perfect use for that 84 speed. Here is Aaron Rodgers getting a little time. Clowney was closing on him, but he got away from that. Next play again. Drop a little more coverage. Takes off with Aaron Rodgers. He goes out here, tries to make a move, make a spin, but Clowney strips him, and that's that about do it. GG's in the chat for my man scheming. Obviously, the first drive, this is a great example of the first drive of a game. You know, you got to be able to score on offense, man. And, you know, you don't really know what's coming defensively, but you have to learn from the first drive. 
The more plays you make your opponent use on the first, first drive, the more they're going to show you. You want them to empty their whole playbook on you on the first drive so you can later expect it down the line. And that's what I was able to do. I was able to get comfortable defending the run and learning his route combinations. And obviously that one pick six was devastating, was the biggest play of the game. Probably one of the best plays I made all year. That said, if you like the video, please hit the like button. Please hit the sub.